Okay, I'm going to record my tutorial on how I put myself in Silent Hill 2 Remake. Um, basically just showing how I replaced Angela's model and all the programs I used to do it. First you want to open F model, and then you want to go into the main game files. You'll want to find Angela's model. It'll be in meshes. Her rig is here. You're going to want to save the model by right-clicking, Save Model. Also in the settings, there is a model section, and you'll want to turn that from PSK to UE model, because we are going to implement an add-on for Blender that works with UE models and animations. All right, once it's done, you'll want to click on it, and it'll open the directory. And you can see that it was exported correctly. If we go into our F model exports, game, character, and then find the meshes, Angela, of course, you will see it right here. Open up your Blender, delete everything on here as usual. Now, you won't be able to see these. Unreal options unless you download this. I'll put the link in the description. Download all of this and then you're going to want to add it as an add-on in your preferences. You're going to want to come over here to units. You're going to need to change the meters to centimeters. And this needs to be changed to this. Once that's done, you can now import your UE model, find your F model exports. Before you import it, you want to make sure that all of these things are set up. Change that scale if it's um, not already set to that. And then you'll want to make sure those two options are selected before you import. Once your model has been imported, you will see these weird lines. But uh, they're supposed to be there. That's actually the skeleton. So you'll want to go over and you want to rename Angela skeleton to armature. I'm going to start sculpting that to whatever I want it to look like. Or this is when you would make it however you want it to look like. I'm going to speed up this process. <laughs> highlight the selected objects you're going to want to export so the armature and her mesh now we can export it as an fbx go to where you want to export it to in this case i'm just going to replace angela rig fbx and you're going to make, want to make sure all of these look exactly how they are set up so selected objects check Make sure the scale looks just like this and make sure these are selected. Normals should be changed to face. Turn off apply modifiers. No leaf bones and no animations. Now you can replace it. One thing I totally forgot to record is before you open Unreal Engine, you're going to want to go to where you installed it and you're going to find your engine file. Config. You're going to find base engine.ini where you will scroll down until you see can use unversioned property serialization. It will be default as true, but you'll want to change it to false. Save the file and then exit before you open Unreal Engine. Now you're gonna to wanna to open your Epic Games Launcher and you'll want to have downloaded 
Unreal Engine, but not the newest release. You want 5.1.1. You really want this version. I effed up the first time and downloaded the newest version and had to uninstall and download the initial one I wanted. Because that's the one that Silent Hill 2 works with. If you were to make a mod for Silent Hill 2 Remake and use the newest version of Unreal Engine, it either wouldn't load at all or even crash the game, from what I've heard. Once everything is loaded in, you're going to want to make a new project. So blank. Name it. I name it to uh, Silent Hill Proto. And make sure your starter content is turned off. You don't want that. Once everything is loaded in, you're going to want to go into your settings, editor preferences, experimental, and type chunk, and allow it. Now we're going to open our project settings, packaging, make sure pack file, store are both enabled, and generate chunks needs to be enabled. I'm going to go through all my settings and open everything up so you can see if there are any mismatches on your end. You're going to want to check Enable DDC and cook everything in the project but ignore list of maps below. Again, I'm going to show you the rest of everything I have. Build configuration needs to be switched to shipping. All right. Now let's open this and make sure every folder in here matches your game folders. You can look in F model and your games folders. You'll see that it goes SH Proto, Content, Game, Characters, Humans, Angela, and then meshes, which is what we're going to be replacing, but I'm also going to be replacing a face texture, so we'll be making sure like all of these files basically match up. Once everything is done and you have all your folders down, at least the ones you'll need, you'll want to go into Meshes, right-click, and then we're going to Import to Game. You're going to want to navigate to where you installed your FBX, which will be in your F model. Angela Rig FBX is the one we overwrote. We're going to open that in here. Once this window opens, you're going to want to make sure all your settings match mine here. So skeletal mesh and import mesh, these things should already be set up for you. Most of everything in here should be already be set up for you, but a couple of things that I'm going to show you. Advanced, make sure import morph targets is checked. I'm going to go through slowly, making sure you can see everything I have in here. All right, once everything looks correct, you can import. Not import all, just hit import. All right, once you have everything in here, you'll see a bunch of materials. Now, usually people get rid of these materials, but I'm not going to. I'm just clicking on this to show you that I have everything showing up. My physical assets are all here, not just in three bulbs. If they're in three bulbs, you'll see something that looks like this which is what we do not want, and that is what happens when you don't fix your scales, like I showed you at the beginning. All right, so we're gonna need to place all the materials in their correct folders. You can open up F model and you can see all these folders again, their layouts, and you can open them and you will see what materials they have inside, which is where you will need to move the materials in Unreal Engine 2. So let's add these folders. 
face and hair. This is how I got the correct textures to show up. Um, not everybody I've talked to had to do this, but for whatever reason, I did. And before I added these folders, I was just getting checkerboard textures, um, no matter what I did, basically. Until I did this, I was dealing with the checkerboard texture. All right, so now that you've made the folders that you'll need to make the textures work properly, you can go in. And I'm just going to show you really quick what my mod looks like. This is the layout of it, and these are the textures that I replaced. So all those textures are going to go in your main textures folder. So hand, pants, skin for the face, your sweater, all of these, we're going to move them to our main textures folder. Now you can open the folder that your F model exports are in, and you can actually export all the textures into here, same as the models, and it helps you see where certain textures need to go in different files such as face and hair so materials for the hair are hair eyebrows and eyelashes and they will go inside hair where we will then put it with the materials in the materials folder all right now that we have all of those set up we can look in textures and any of these that you'll need to replace will be replaced and put into the textures folder inside the hair but I'm not going to be replacing the texture for the hair. I'm going to be replacing the face. But I'm going to show you how you would set that up. So the main face texture is in here. You'll see Angela's skin. That's the one we're going to be replacing. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I already have a file opened here in Blender where I've already added the lip color and the eye color I want. I've made the eyeshadow dark and I've made a darker lip shade. So I'm going to overwrite the main file. You can save as a new one, of course, but just make sure you name it what the original file's name is. Now we're going to grab this texture that we overwrote, or wherever you saved it to, and we're going to plop it right here in the main textures folder. All right, so if you go in the textures folder, you can see where materials are in here as well. And those materials, we are going to move into the main textures folder. Again, we're just going to try and make everything look exactly how it lays out in the game. That way we don't get any checkerboard problems. All of our textures are loading to the correct parts. So, in this materials folder, there are two eye materials. So in the textures folder, the main one, we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call it materials. Um... I typed that wrong, so you really want to make sure that you double check if you have any typos because that can prevent your mod from loading or can make it crash the game. So we'll want eye occlusion and the criminal fluid inside the materials folder in the main textures folder. Mostly you're just going to be doing a lot of backtracking and making sure that every folder and every file is in its place. It can be kind of tedious, but it pays off. So open Angela Rig. And um, make sure it looks like your FBX. <laughs> now, you can see this really ugly looking square piece or pieces to the hair. That is actually M invisible. And what that is, is it's basically the main mesh that we are going to place our phys physics on for our hair. So open your LOD section and go down and you'll see M invisible and your hair. You're going to want to isolate M invisible, right click. Create clothing data, and we're going to call this hair physics. Basically, we're just adding the hair physics to the game. Remove from mesh and create it. Once that's removed, it'll show the rest of your object. You're going to want to isolate it again, and then go to activate cloth paint. Click on your hair physics, or whatever you named it to. I like to change my paint value to about 20. In my radius, I go to 5. Now we're going to paint where the weights will be. And then to seamlessly blend the weights, I go to Smooth and Smooth Mesh. And that adds just a lower rate so that it kind of flows, I guess, more smooth, not choppy. And you're going to deactivate cloth paint and wait for everything to set up. 
it'll disappear, but that's okay. Go to Asset Details, de-isolate, scroll down, fully, <laughs> until you see that you have disabled your M invisible. That is what it should look like. It should not be enabled, it should be gone. Now go to clothing and enable your hair physics you just created. It looks crazy right now, but we're going to fix it. <laughs> so if you see it looking like this, you know it's working. Just go to your physics assets. And all of these bubbles are going to affect what physics you add to whatever clothing or hair. So we're going to click on the neck bubble. And we're just going to resize it. And you'll see how that's affecting the way our hair lays. So we shrink this so it doesn't look so crazy. And that will fix how that looks. Just take your time adjusting it. Once it looks the way that you want, save it. And exit. Now you can open things up and then go to Asset Actions. And Assign to Chunk. I usually use the number 111. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with our physics assets. Otherwise, the hair physics don't work, at least for me. And we're also going to go to the texture that we want to replace. The face texture we made here, and we're also going to do the same thing. Assign it to chunk 111. Okay and save all. Once that is all done, we can go to Platforms, Windows, and Cook Content. But before we cook, we want to make sure that your project uh, settings are set to Shipping. Or you can just go down and click Shipping, but I usually leave it at Project Settings. Oh my god, now we can cook. Open your output and just watch the log. Once everything is done cooking, we are now going to go back to Platforms, Windows, and Package. I like to package it, package it right into the folder where my SH Proto is and watch the log again. Once everything is complete, you're going to want to go to your folder, your project folder, Windows, SH Proto, Content, Packs, and you will see your chunks. 111 was my number. And we're going to rename them. I'm going to rename this to Angela Test. Now put underscore capital P at the end of every single one of these mods you make. You want to make sure underscore P is put in there after your title. Otherwise, it won't load. All right, so we've placed Angela Test into the mods folder for Silent Hill. Now we can load it up. If it doesn't stutter like a son of a bitch, oh my lord, you can see that the mod is working. All right, so you can see everything is working. We have the eyeshadow, the lip tint, and the face reshape, as well as working hair physics. And that's how you create a mod in Silent Hill 2 Remake. At least that's how it worked for me. Hopefully this helps anybody wanting to do the same thing.